Hello friends, welcome to learning SAP 2000. In the previous video, we have defined the materials. Now, after defining the materials, next step in the workflow, that is, we have to define the sectional properties. So, we have to define the bin size, we have to define the column size, and we have to also define the slab, that is, area size. So, beam and column in the SAP, which are to be considered as a frame section. So, beam and <laughs> and column are considered as a frame section and slab is considered as an area section. So first of all, we will go to the defined menu, section properties and we have to click on frame section. And let us, we want to create a new frame section. So add new property and uh, here I want to choose concrete and rectangular. And before doing this, let us, we will change our unit system. So let us say kilonewton, millimeter, kilonewton meter and centigrade so define sectional properties frame section add new properties and let us we will choose material is concrete rectangular section and here which i am using beams now you have to uh, consider the beam size from the preliminary design so if you don't know how to do the prelim design of the structure so uh, you can please check out my videos in my playlist as well in which i have in detail mentioned that how to define prelim sections how to define beam size how to define column size and how to define slab size as well so you can please feel free to check out those playlists it has only four to five videos so you can on the basis of that you can design in your prelim sections beam column and slab so here which i am typing name that is beams and uh, let us i will be uh, after doing the prelim design for my this residential building that is this one architectural building i am choosing my beam size is 0 0.35 by 0 0.23 so i am going with sap 2000 0 0.35 0 0.23 okay and material is m20 and make sure you you will be go for the concrete reinforcement and we have to use this property for the design type b okay <coughs> and here there is a cover so 0.025 that is 25 mm top and bottom and uh, rebar material is fe 500 here is also fe 500 simply click on ok and again click on ok similarly let us we will define new properties so add new properties and this time we will define for the column and size of the column that is 0 0.35 by 0 0.35 so 0 0.035 0.35 that is 350 mm by 350 mm material is m20 and concrete reinforcement we have to define for the column okay so grade is fe500 and here with there are option so 40 mm clear cover so 0 0.04 now this is important number of longitudinal bars along three directional faces so this is my horizontal is three di directional faces so one two three bars if i will be changed let's say this number is five so along two direction that is vertical one two three four five reinforcement are going to be placed okay so let us i will be used along two directional and along three directional faces three number of bars so along three directional means parallel to three parallel to three means x one two three and along two directional means parallel to two that is parallel to y so one two three and size is 16 so 16 into d and confinement bar that is ties so here as you can see confinement bar is applied for the ties 8d and 
100 mm cover that is 0 0.1 and number of bars along two confinement bar along three directional is three and along two directional is also three and make sure in the check and design option you have to click on reinforcement to be designed because we want to design the structure we don't want to check the structure so here the option should be selected reinforcement to be designed okay and again click on okay so we have defined two sectional properties that is beams and column in order to define the slab section properties you need to go to define section properties and area section and add new section shell thin and thick is used for the heavy dense structure so right now i am using thin structure and here i am specifying 130 mm thick slab so 0.13 Thickness is 130 mm, that is 0 0.13 meter. And properties M20, and simply click on OK. Again, click on OK. If you want to remove these properties, so you can simply remove by selecting and delete section properties. If you want to make a copy, and let us say at a different story, you are using different uh, slab, uh, slab section. So you can add a copy of this section and you can simply change the thickness. So in this video we have uh, we have seen that how to define the sectional properties that is uh, frame section that is beam and column and uh, slab that is area section properties.